What up? It's Aaron motherfucking Moses. And the message today is STDs are very real. They're real. They're really real. <sighs> I'm trying to think of how I want to tell you this story because it's it has a lot of potential to turn into a really good video. What happened when I got an STD? See, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I don't even think I had the motherfucking STD. I don't think I did. I think it was psychological. So this is what happened. I'm going to tell you the real super, super duper real version of this story. I'm not going to start from the beginning. I'm going to start from the, from the, I'm going to start from the super beginning. Okay. So Aaron Moses uh, was 20 when he lost his virginity. <gasps> I know. It's shocking. And apparently... There's a rule to the culture of having sex with strangers. There's lots of rules. Like you should wear condoms and you should not, you know, perform oral sex on somebody if you've never fucking met them before. I don't know these things. But I'm going to have sex with this woman. It's going to go down. There's two females in the bed. And my cousin's friend and the female he's going to have sex with and another bed, the bed that didn't have bed bugs. So, my cousin is upstairs, and he's like, "Come get you, come get me when you're done." And I was like, ah, "I'm gonna get some pussy," and you don't even know it's gonna be for the first time because I told him when I was like 14, I lost my virginity, which was totally not true. Jesus Christ, I was such a weirdo. But. He gives me a condom. He gives me one of these little crusty crab sized condoms. And he sh he th threw it to me. And I was like, Psh. and I was like, what the fuck is this, you little dick midgets? A lifestyle? These white man condoms? I can't fit this. My dick is huge. Does anybody have a Magnum? I didn't say that. But I was like, first of all, if I'm going to get AIDS, I'm going to get it. That's not for me to decide. And second of all, I'm not using that condom my first time. Who knows when the next time is going to be when I have some sex. Very self-destructive, self-hating mentality. All right, I was on pills. I was drunk, and I knew what I was doing with or without those drugs. So let's not blame it on those things. I just didn't care about myself. I didn't care about life. All right? So I was on probation. It was bad, bro. It was September 11th. I remember because I got a lot of, <laughs> I got a lot of bullshit, because I put on Facebook September 11th was the bomb. <gasps> oh my God! Yeah, the day I lost my virginity. Shit, September 11th, 2000, whatever the fuck, however old I am right now, sick five years ago. So what happens? So I'm, of course, I'm on pills. My dick's hard. Fucking this shit. Fucking this bitch. And, and and then you know what happened? I just went ape mode. I went Super Saiyan and was fucking the crap out of her. And I just went crazy. I pulled my dick out, ah, looking at her pussy and shit like that. Put my dick back in, hitting it from the back, turning around. Just went crazy, right? Eventually, I just lost it. I just went fucking animal and I just lost it, all right? Eating the pussy, I was like, ew, this tastes gross because I nutted in there already. <laughs> Why didn't I think about that? <laughs> that's really happened. That was that's the grossest shit I've ever done in my life, bro. That was so that was horrible. That was horrible. Jesus Christ. What happens? So I get up the next morning, go back home to Jefferson Park. And I was in the bathroom and I was looking at myself and I was like, did I get sexier? And I was like, loose my virginity. I feel exactly the same. Oh jeez. Not good. I'm thinking, hey, if I lose my virginity, I'm going to have some momentum. I live where some women are. But I feel like the exact same fucking nerd. You know, the yoga doing, fucking anime watching, Jerry Springer, Mori watching nerd. So, 
I was in the bathroom and I was thinking, I was like, man, that was some good sex. I can still feel her vagina on me. Is that what sex feels like? Oh my God. So I took a piss and I was like, oh no. It feels like I have a piece of rice in my dick. And I squeezed the hole and I looked at it and it was normal. But it felt weird and I was like, The first thing I thought about was when my cousin came in the room because he was acting like a little biatch because I didn't come get him when I was done having sex because I didn't want to. And I wanted to keep having sex. I busted two nuts. It was good. Amazing, actually. He came in the room the next morning after he abandoned me and told me he wasn't going to be able to take me back home like a little bitch. He, he was looking for his phone on the bed and he lifted up the covers and he saw the condom unopened <laughs> that he gave me, the baby condom, you know, the one for infants. And he looked at me like, bruh why didn't you use this and i was like i didn't need it i didn't look at my tongue at my cousin because i'm not a homosexual but anyways that's the first thing i thought about and then what happens i'm brushing my teeth and then wha i inhale the, the mint and my throat starts to hurt and i was like no i gotta fucking ask you to this today and I text this bitch, and I was like, yeah, baby, when you want to do that again, I'm going to fucking kill you. I'm going to kill you in the alley. I know exactly where I'm going to kill you, and I'm going to get away with it. Because it's the south side of Chicago, and it's very dangerous. I'm going to have sex with you, and I'm going to nut in you, and then I'm going to kill you in the alley. I'm going to pretend like I'm walking you home, and then I'm going to kill you, and then I'm going to take the bus home. And then nothing bad's going to happen. So, eventually, years go by, I didn't get an STD check, because I was like, you know what, uh, I don't think I have an STD, I totally did, I think, and I was like, you know what, there was bed bugs, it could have been the bed bugs, it could have been a lot of things, so I just got drunk and years went by, right, so I'm having sex with Liz, right, and she gets pregnant, Jesus, and then... One time, we go to the OBGY, and you're going to think, Aaron Moses, you are a piece of fucking crap, and I'm not. Go to the OBGYN, or the, the pregnant doctor, and she's, can you leave for a second, sir? And I was like, sure, I don't want to be here at all. And then she's, okay, you can come back. And then Liz is smiling, and I'm like, what? And she was like, <sighs> the nurse goes, should I tell him, or do you want to tell him? And I was like, what could this be? It's not about me, because I'm not pregnant. And she says, well, we tested Liz, and she is positive for chlamydia. Ding, 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 ding. And I was like, bitch, you gave me chlamydia? And she was like, well, have you ever had sex before her? And I was like, I only had sex with two women before her, and I don't have chlamydia. Mind your fucking business, you white cunt. She gave me chlamydia because she's a whore. <laughs> I didn't say that. And she was like, yeah, Mr. Hester, you have to get tested. We gave her the fucking chlamydia pill, but we can't legally give it to you because we're some fag-ass bitches. And I was like, you're a fag-ass bitch? Who would have thought? So I go to the fucking worst place I've ever been in my life including jail and it was the the free clinic on the north side of chicago i believe it was in lincoln park and uh i was sitting there for 20 hours and everybody was it, it felt so dirty Ooh, it was prostitutes in there fat, gay people i was going to say faggots wasn't i yes i was but that's not what they are. They're people. And they're okay to me. 
And it just felt gross. It was little kids in there and shit. Not little kids, but it was children in there. Teenagers, nigga. They had a box full of condoms. They had a box full of booty sex lube. And I was like, this is the worst. This is fucking meth heads coughing and shit. Weird shit on TV. Whatever. So, okay, Aaron Moses, it's your turn. Right, we're gonna give you an AIDS test first, and I was like, if I have AIDS, you shouldn't just, you shouldn't, you don't even have to give me that chlamydia test, because that's the worst thing possible, and I was like, how long does this fucking take, it takes five minutes, bro, we know what AIDS looks like, we made this shit, and I was like, alright, cool, so, I gave me the, I gave me the AIDS test, it came back negative, on a positive note, and then, I go, and I was like, yeah, my girlfriend got tested for chlamydia. I go to the next nurse, and she was, she was so sexy. And I will tell you, Liz said that the nurses have to be sexy because sometimes the dudes have very small penises and they have to, like, get them um, sexually aroused so they can administer the test to them to see if they have any gonorrhea and stuff like that, which I obviously don't have that problem. But she was asking me all these questions. She was like, so what What are you, why do you want a chlamydia test? And I was like, because my girlfriend got fucking diagnosed, tested for chlamydia, and she came back positive. And then she was like, well, we can't just give you the medicine. We have to see if you have it. And I was like, do you, how about this? How about it's free and I'll pay for it? How about that? No, we have to give you the test. And I was like, all right, so... Give me the cup. And she was like, the cup? That's not how you test for chlamydia. And I was like, okay, you're going to take more blood. That's not how we test for chlamydia. How do you test for chlamydia? Well, and she pulls out this fucking sword with a fucking Q-tip on the tip of it. And I was like, you're going to swab my, my mouth? No. Pull your pants down. All right. And she was like, nah, nah, nah. Pull your other pants down. And I was like... <laughs> What are you going to do with that? And she was like, "We're going to I'm going to put this Q-tip in your dick, but only up to the Q-tip." And I was like, oh, "Why?" And she was like, "Because I squeezed your penis hole and there was no pus coming out of it." And I was like, "So I don't have chlamydia, right?" And she was like, "No, that's not what that means." And I was like, "All right." Do it. Fucking do it. So she puts it. She's like, look, you're going to feel a slight pressure. And I was like, I'm a man, bitch. Do it. And she put it in there. And I was like, Ooh! oh, God damn. And she was like, I'm sorry. And I was like, no, you're mad. You're mad at me because I have sex with a pregnant woman with a condom when she said she has chlamydia. And she was like, yeah, we ran the test and there is a 90% chance that you do not have chlamydia because women get STDs because they're dirty sluts. And when you put an STD in a cup, it doesn't always get on the finger when you stick your finger in the cup. And men aren't 100%. It's easier for a woman to get an STD than a man because you pull your dick out and it doesn't always go in the in the hole. And I was like, "Ew." So STDs come from women like I thought. Good to know. Dirty sluts. Nah, I'm just kidding. I love women. And um she gave me the pill. Um everybody could tell that I just came from a fucking STD clinic. I was scared. I had to piss right after that. I thought my shit was going to bleed. I was like, oh my God, you made me feel pain down there. What? You can't come back from that. I can never unfeel that. When I talk about it now, I feel it. I feel it now. I want to punch somebody. I want to punch somebody right now. But whatever the case is. I got on the train, my stomach started hurting, got on the bus, 
And guess what I did? Guess what store I went to right after that experience? And I got fucking drunk. And that's what happens when you have sex without a condom. STDs are very real. And if you want to feel how it feels to get your dick stomped, get tested for chlamydia. I'm not even going to ever get tested for chlamydia again. And if I have it, it's going to be there. I'm not getting a Q-tip stuck in my fucking dick again. <sighs> have I had unprotected sex with strangers ever since then? Not yet. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. But... It's going to be when I'm like 60, like when I'm close to death, because then I, if I die with chlamydia, that's fine. That's totally OK with me. I won't I won't kiss my son on the mouth anymore. I won't fucking give a fuck about anybody when I'm 60. I'm going to start smoking all kind of weird drugs I never tried before. Crack and probably a little bit of meth, but I won't have the kid to worry about having an STD. I'll probably get some fucking 20 year old pregnant. And be like, ha ha, you got an STD. Ha 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 ha. That's not gonna happen. That's not gonna fucking happen. What do you think I am? A fucking demon? Think I'm a monster? I'm not. I'm just not as funny as I would like to be. And sometimes those things come out. Alright. So, use condoms. They don't, they don't feel good. They don't really work. They don't smell good. They make you um, soft if you don't know how to put one on, which I'm getting kind of good at it, but it, it's still weird, okay? Uh, the woman has to have good sex, or there's really going to be no point in even having sex, having sex with her unless you have low self-esteem and you need a confidence booster, or you just hate women and you want to dominate her and, you know, be in charge of her body for those two hours oh yeah you can last really fucking long because and then when you got a squirter and you could feel the squirt or around the condom you're like fuck why do i have to wear a fucking condom and then you have a flashback to that sexy ass nurse putting a fucking q-tip on your dick and taking her anger out on of, of men on you because she got molested by her dad when she was seven so she wants to put q-tips and nigga dicks all day and that's what she wants to do and you can feel when the woman is a squirter, fuck. And you're like, oh, I'm going to snatch this condom. I'm going to snatch it off. I'm going to snatch it off. I'm going to snatch it. I'm going to snatch this shit off. Because you can feel the water and it feels like she's coming. It feels like you are having an orgasm. But she is coming from her and there's all kind of water. And it feels like a wash. I'm like, Jesus Christ, oh my God. I need to stop thinking about this shit. Because look, I don't want a child. I don't know if this bitch has a history of mental health issues or, or fucking anything like that. I don't know if she has a history of anything in her family that I don't want to pass to my child. I, I don't want to have a child with this bitch because I want to move back to Atlanta or Cali and I don't want to be a weekend warrior dad and be one of the vacation dads. That's not a real dad. And I don't want to um, get a fucking Q-tip in my dick. I don't want to have HIV, AIDS, and whatever else comes from that. I don't want to have HPV and give bitches cancer and shit like that. Shingles, whatever that shit's called. I don't think shingles come from that, whatever. I don't want to have herpalerps. I want to be able to kiss my son on the cheek. Still, that's awesome. Um... I'm gonna get my dick sucked without feeling guilty. Like you have herpes and you don't don't kiss my mouth, and you don't even know it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we're condoms and stuff, man. That's it's cool. It's it's like if sex is like a in life, sex is like a six. Wearing a condom during sex is still like a four in life, pleasure wise. Um, it take it lowers your sex drive. Condoms. And because it's like, I really want to have sex with you, but I don't, I don't like buying condoms because people are like, your dick's not that big. You're so short, but you got this big condom. I'm like, bitch, mind your business, bitch. Give it to me. Give me the XLs, okay? They're like, or the fuck, the Indian guy. Oh, the weirdo. I can't even buy condoms there anymore. And I was like, yeah, let me get the black one. 
And I was like, dude, why do you make it fucking weird? Why did you make it weird? <laughs> I gotta go to Walgreens now to buy these. This is so convenient. I say, get me the Magnums. This, these? Mm. I'm like, dude. Dude, look at all these people in line behind me. Why did you have to make that weird face? I should have recorded that shit. I was start walking around with fucking camera glasses, dude. Swear to God. One day. One day. But um, you got to get like 50 of them if you have my lifestyle. Because I have this slew of fucking females. Because my manifestation powers are on fleeky. Fleeky leaky. But um... I'm not a fuck I'm not a Playboy millionaire. I, I I know that. I know that. But it's nice to dream. I do have multiple women, and I, from somebody who was being a weirdo, putting notes in girls' lockers and buying them fucking Snicker bars, to, I was the weird. I was that. I was the weirdo, bro. I'm still the weirdo, but I was like the creepy kid like making mixtapes for females and shit of all the new songs about love and giving it to them and this is how i feel about you i want you to go home and i want you to reflect because i can give you all i know i'm in middle school and i don't have a job but i could make you feel good girl and they were like okay this nigga's never losing his virginity and they were right they were right Putting the local notes, doing sh cause I didn't have a fucking, I didn't have parents. Okay, my mom was trying to be a provider. She worked like twelve hours. She left at eight. She came back at ten. That's more than twelve hours. <laughs> and obviously, I didn't have a fucking dad. So who was raising me? Me, myself, and TV. And my, I had a little sister. So I did stuff that I saw on TV. I didn't socialize a lot. I couldn't go outside. And no kids that lived around me went to my school. Anyway, that is my story. That is why. Don't even have sex, dude. For what? You need your semen to do other stuff. You need your sexual fluids. Read about it. Having sex is cool, I guess, but. You know, it makes you sick. It can give you a mental illness. It can give you a physical illness. It can make you, like, you know, fucked up. It could put you in a lot of fucked up situations that cost money, like, you know, parenthood, like having AIDS, like getting kind of can some kind of cancer, um, a Q-tip in your, t I don't even like thinking about that shit, that really changes my mood, that makes me want to hurt somebody right now, and alcohol does that, but the combination of those two I'm going to just stop thinking about it. It can make you a lot of things. It can put you in a lot of places. It can fuck you up spiritually with your religion. People can fucking energy vampire off you. So just, I'm not going to tell you to not have sex. Use a condom. What? Sex. Sex is really... If you're a virgin, I hope you're not discouraged by this. I hope you are low-key. Cause there's enough fucking people in this world and if i have to keep fucking standing up on the bus i'm gonna slap somebody and it's because of you and your fucking horniness and your slutty little mommy and your fucking irresponsible dad because i have to stand on the bus now thank you and um they keep running out of fucking newports at my liquor store because of you because of people like you um sex being a six out of ten in life of all the pleasure you can have six with a condom four think about how worth it that is would you lose your life for a woman who was not even that attractive that's what sex is the woman that's not even that attractive and you're like you know that you know that female you're like you're not even cute. Why are you talking to me like that? I will fucking slap you. You are way too entitled to not be cute at all. You can't just have this. You can't just have the self-esteem of a fucking ten. You are a six. Damn it! Stop talking to dudes like that. You see a fucking 
no homo. You see a guy that's like not a bad looking guy, and he has this girlfriend, and I'm and you're like, nigga, you hate yourself. You hate yourself, and you let this bitch talk to you like this. Well, Jesus, why are you talking to him like that? You're not even pretty, bitch. You are a six. You are like if your nose was a little bit bigger, you would be ugly. Your eyes are, like, a little too close to good. Like, you're thinking that in your head, like, dude, what? Who are you? What kind of, what kind of, what is this? You know what I mean? That's what it is. That's what sex is, dude. That little dog that barks too much that's really cute. That's what sex is. You're like, dude, you need to get this dog, bro. You need to come get this puppy. That girl that's like, uh, like that, there's one bitch at a party. Uh, does anybody?